And we stand and we are strong also because of you. You are helping on us by your advices, by your letters, by your smiles also today, by, uh, by financial support, by people coming here. And also today, people, you, you come here, you are with us, you are on our screens, you are in our minds, you, we are intellectually and emotionally together, and it matters a lot for us. So I just uh, start this meeting by telling big thank you to all of you. We stand, we survive, we will survive, we will win, but only because we are together with you. Thank you that we are together. And uh, so uh, Ising lectures always are in May. So we started in, in 1997, and Ers Ising was born the 10th of May 1900, just at the beginning of last century. Then he was still alive, and we wrote him a letter and uh, con congratulations on his birthday. Uh, uh, Ising passed away the next year, 1998, the 11th of May. So in this way, May is the month uh, connected to Ising's life. And that's why we always have this Ising lectures in May. Uh, the lecture started as a workshop on phase transitions and criticality. And uh, with a span of time, it started to deal uh, with criticality in different incarnations. Basically, I would say that the workshop is devoted to complex systems of many interacting agents of, of, of different origins. And you will see this uh, from the topics uh, of the lectures during these six lectures. It will be six different lectures. And uh, I do not stop more on the content of these lectures. I just say my big and our big thank you to the lecturers for coming uh, for this easing lectures and for uh, preparing, uh, preparing their lectures. And uh, as I told you, the Ising lectures are organized here in VIV, in the Institute for Condensed Matter Physics. Many of you have been here, and uh, you are all cordially invited to come here one peaceful day. And it is my uh, pleasure to, uh, to give the floor to our director, to Dr. Taras Brick, to tell you several words from, on behalf of our institute. OK, thank you, Jurko. And uh, dear colleagues, it's a pleasure for me to open uh, this year our traditional Ising Lectures. Uh, the Ising Lectures were initiated uh, in 1997 by Jurko Holovac and became very soon a well-known scientific event uh, in theoretical physics, at least uh, for scientific community in Ukraine. Uh, uh, this year, this is the 24th edition of the Ising Lectures. Uh, and as far as I remember, only in 2020, we had to cancel Ising lectures because of COVID epi epidemic. However, this year, the circumstances are even worse. You know, all you know is that on 24th uh, of February this year, we woke up a, in a new reality. So the Russian invasion of Ukraine uh, started, and it was really unbelievable that in 21st century, a new war started in Europe. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we are trying to keep our scientific activity on the former level. Also, uh, Lviv is rather a safe place in the very vast uh, uh, region uh, uh, of Ukraine, uh, never, uh, even here in Lviv, we feel this war. Even this night, uh, we experienced two times uh, the missile uh, attack alarms and heard the uh, explosions. So the, we feel the war every day. Uh, nevertheless, we are happy that we have the possibility of this scientific meeting and we are really grateful to all the lecturers who were able to perform and prepare uh, these lectures at, the, uh, at this scientific event. So I wish all of you very nice discussions and thank you again for coming to this uh, Easing Lectures. And let's hope that next year uh, you will be able to come to the peaceful Ukraine without any war, and you will be able to come here for offline meeting here at our institute. Let's hope for that. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Taras. Okay. Uh, so uh, it was director of our institute, and also in the institute we have the international advisory board. There are uh, around ten uh, people from all over the world who advise us. And uh, the head of this, uh, they are from also from Ukraine, from other countries. And the head of this advisory board is uh, Professor Alexander Bakai, and he is a uh, member of National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, head of the department in Kharkiv. And he works in the Kharkiv uh, Physico-Technical Institute. That's this famous institute which, uh, between the wars, it, uh, between the First and Second War, he was named Ukrainian Physico-Technical Institute. There were, that's where Landau worked and where, you know, where Landau started to write his, uh, his famous course in theoretical physics, where Landau got professorship and so on. Uh, so uh, this Kharkiv Institute was uh, attacked and also the physical department of Karazin University in Kharkiv was attacked and uh, destroyed. And uh, now Professor Bakai is not in the city anymore. He is in the village nearby, uh, saving his and his family. And I tried to record uh, uh, what he wants to uh, address to, to you. I didn't manage because the connection in village is very bad. So I can speak to him, but it was low quality. I made several pictures of him and the text. So now he will address you, and uh, I ask uh, to, 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 to show these pictures and to read his words. I ask Oksana Dobush. And at the same time, I want to introduce you uh, the, the organizers of this Easing Lecture. These are Oksana Dobush, Mariana Krasnitska, uh, Dmitro Shapoval, and uh, Hristia Hajdukivska. They are here on screen, and one of them is Oksana, who will read you the address of Professor Bakai. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So while I'm sharing my screen, I also want to congratulate each one of you with uh, International Day of Physicists, which is today. I was so not aware. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm sharing the screen. Uh, hope you see it. Yes, yeah. I do. So here is the message of Alexander Bakai. Hello, dear colleagues. The Ising Lectures, organized by Yuri and his colleagues each year, is an ex extraordinary event for evident reasons. It comprises lectures devoted to the problems of statistical physics of complex systems, which are under comprehensive studies in worldwide scientific community. The workshop includes lectures of renowned academics presented in a way understandable for beginners. Physicists from all over the world come to Lviv. Some of them come for the first time to Ukraine, and many of them afterwards come to Ukraine again and again. In this way, new scientific connections are established and new ideas are generated. This year, the Ising lectures are organized in the online format, forced by the brutal war. The Shakespearean to be or not to be is not a rhetorical question, but a severe challenge for Ukraine and Ukrainian scientists. All of us believe that we have to be. Together we are strong and together we stand. Thank you. Thank you very much, Oksana. Yeah, thank you. And thank you very much, Professor Bakai. Maybe he joins us also, but uh, as I told you, the, the connection is very bad. On a personal note, I want to say you, because uh, several colleagues are in close connections with Professor Bakai. So he is in Kharkiv, and Kharkiv, uh, you know, it's uh, destroyed in very many parts. And also the missile touched at the house where he lives. Then he was in some other house. And finally, I lost, lost connection with him. It was no telephone connection. And I was, you know, thinking all one can think. And finally, I found him by, by Viber. And it appeared he is in a small village. And could you imagine the name of the village is Verge Paradise. Birkem Paradis. <laughs> so, uh, so these birch trees behind him also let them show us our future and may the God uh, save him and all of us who are, who are here in Ukraine and who are there in the world. And uh, yeah, and so as I told you, there are, during Easing lectures, we have the lecturing and also we have working groups. And also during this, uh, during this year, we planned to have three working groups offline here in Lviv. Now we have them online. One working group is connected to the project which is uh, running in our institute, and it is common PhD studies between four institutions, Leipzig, 
uh, Nancy, Coventry, and Lviv. So actually today in the morning, half past 10, we had the meeting with PhD students. As it was our usual seminar, but in the frames of, of Ising lectures. Another project is connected to the history of physics, in particular to the history of statistical physics. And <clears throat> it is supported by Österreichische Austauschdienst. And from the Austrian side, it is, had by, it is led by Dr. Reinhard Volk, who is here, and his lecture will be uh, during the third day of, of the meeting. And one more, one more project we have with the uh, Humboldt University uh, in, in Berlin, and it is headed by Dr. Pavel Romanchuk, who is here, and he has the laboratory of collecting information processing. For us, it is very new because it is our connection to biology, so we are uh, very happy that we can uh, collaborate with Pavel Romanchuk and with his group. And today, Pavel Romanchuk will be uh, the chairperson of the first meeting, and he will chair this meeting together with uh, Mariana Krasnetska, who is from our institute. And she made Kochutel, uh, common PhD studies between Ukraine and uh, France, and got two doctorates on behalf of two institutions. And also, I am happy to say you that uh, the group of young people from our institute got a grant for so-called youth, youth laboratory, so laboratory of young people. They are five, three of them are co-chairs today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. And I think as long as we have young physicists here in Ukraine, we, we, we have a future. So uh, thanks again to all of you. And I am, uh, I am giving the stage to Pavel Romanchuk and to Mariana Krasnitska, who will uh, continue leading the, uh, the, the, the workshop. Uh, one technical announcement, that usually when we have meeting in Lviv, uh, and we have air alarm, we uh, announce break five minutes or 10 minutes, and then people, those who are going to shelters, uh, go to shelters and we continue. Now there are people from different parts of Ukraine. And basically we will have air, air alarms and we are having at different times. So we made the following agreement. The lecturers kindly agree that they will be recorded. So if there is uh, alarm, we don't take care, I mean, all of them, all of us. Only those who are in the place where one should go to the shelter, he goes to the shelter. Whereas uh, the rest are continuing to be present online, and those who are not able to attend the lecture will attend the recorded part of the lecture. So with all that said, I invite Pavel Romanchuk and Mariana Kanskrasnitska to continue. Thank you. <laughs>